I'm Doug Shaw and welcome to the Locals Diaries Home Studio. Home Studio is an online creative space for us to make, play and share. Each session will introduce a new creative idea and we'll work using materials you can find around most households. We want to make these sessions easy, fun and accessible. So don't worry if you're not feeling like the world's most confident artist, just get stuck in and have a go. The Locals Diaries is an archive project being run by the London Borough of Sutton which aims to record and chronicle how people are managing during these strange times. So if you want to get creative and submit an entry inspired by today's session or maybe if you're already keeping a record of what's going on right now then please read the text below to find out how to get in touch and contribute to this exciting project. In this session of Home Studio we're going to be exploring a form of poetry known as a haiku and we're going to be looking at the theme of kindness in support of Mental Health Awareness Week. So, let's make a start. So, what is a haiku? Well, it's a short form of verse that originated in Japan and it's built around a very uh, simple structure. Each haiku has three lines. The first line has five syllables, the second line has seven syllables and the third line has five syllables. Uh, I've written this haiku about a haiku to try and help explain that um, and this is how it goes. The haiku is short, three lines, five, seven and five. Would you like to play? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Three lines, five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables. Okay, so that's the structure. Now we're going to have a look at a couple of examples that I've written on the theme of kindness related to this year's um, Mental Health Awareness Week. Uh, let me just get them here. Hopefully my writing's neat enough for you to be able to read them. I've put them all in capitals because uh, my handwriting is a bit of a scribble. Anyway, this first one is called The Kindness of Caring. Nurses, doctors and all those who look after us, thanks for your service. Here's another one I've written about friends. Friends. Though we are at home, we'll see good friends again and share a lot of laughs. Five, seven, five. And then let's have a look at another one here. I called this one Good Deeds. There's lots of people out there doing nice things for people, uh, other people at the moment in all kinds of ways and I just thought it was um, useful to maybe recognise that. To be of service, wanting nothing in return. That feels kind to me. So hopefully you're getting a sense of, a good sense of how the structure works. Three lines, five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. Here's another haiku I wrote, and this one's about the flowers uh, in the garden I can see from the window in my room. Flowers blooming now, I can see them from my room. Colours make me smile. And with this one, I'm going to add a little bit extra. I've got some fine liner pens here, and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour and, and decoration to this one to give it a little more uh, interest, if you like. Now, let's put some... So let's, let's play with the flower theme. Let's put some little bit of simple tufts of grass along the bottom of the verse and let's put the ground in here just doesn't have to be anything too detailed or fancy just to add a little more interest to the drawing and let's put some flowers in too so let's put one here at the end uh, let's put a few leaves in there. We'll come back and do the flower in a second. Let's put another one here. And as you can see, I'm kind of playing with the shape around the verse. Sort of integrating it, if you like, in a little, in a way. And 
is let's put some flower heads on here. Just simple designs to, to, to illustrate the theme. Let's colour in the middle of the flower. There we go. And let's put another one here. Like that. Again, I'll put the petals in. Red. That last one was yellow in the center. Let's make this one orange just for a bit of difference. Not much difference. There we go. And if you wanted to, you could maybe add something else. I don't know. Let's put um, let's put a ladybird in here. It's a small one. That's its body. And very quickly just add spots little head there you go now should give it some legs as well so it can walk around one two three so you can see that's quite a simple way to just add a little bit more um, color and and feeling if you like to the to the verse you could maybe um, maybe sign it and give it to a, a friend or someone else who you know we might like a little something from you. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's session. And if you do make uh, any haikus, whether you illustrate them like this one or not, and you want to share them with the project on social media, then please don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag the locals diaries. I hope you've enjoyed playing, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.